probably have more features in this session than ever before because your meetings obviously are held at times and they're teaching. Uh, it's refreshing to hear the critical thinking and reflections going on this morning. Uh, your reflections about what is our power and control as an investment board. Uh, we would encourage you to continue that kind of critical thinking. And let's start with your goal, 4040 uh, You referenced that several times this morning. Uh, one year ago, on August 7th, you received a report from the Department of uh, Employment, the Oregon Department of Employment, of uh, the job projections to the year 2020 in each of the three segments. The college degree, community college degree, and high school performance. That data showed that the job projections and your goal of 4040 are, are totally out of whack. Totally out of whack. The projection says that job openings in 2020 in Oregon will uh, demand for a college education 30% of the jobs will demand college. That's community college or higher education. 69% of the job of the job openings will demand no more than a high school diploma. Have you asked any questions about this? Is this is 404020 in the absence of any improvements in core funding? Is it just a slogan. It was conceived in private business corporate uh, boardrooms by the Oregon uh, Business Council and the Oregon Business Plan. No one has seriously vetted it. I would suggest in my testimony, my written testimony, has suggested policy questions you might want to ask about that. Secondly, thirty seconds, sir. Beg your pardon. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Well, our recommendation is that you continue asking why have we embarked on the course we are on. The acceptance of the waiver demands from Army Duncan. Uh, didn't Oregon used to have a motto, we fly on our own wings, but you've accepted more accountability demands. Uh, you've had uh, corporate executives leading much of your work, including the employment of Rudy Crew. How did that work out for you? We suggest that you return to the question about core funding for public education. The investments that you are discussing are simply all good projects, but will in no way reach all the schools in the state. Uh, we thought that was your investment responsibility, is to recommend the state funding. I don't know what your authority is after your discussion. But to recommend to the state investment, true investment, that reaches every kid in this state. I would ask you, how have you positively impacted any children? 